be making basics. What's going on? I'm Ever J Music, and what we're going to be talking about is what's new in Logic Pro 10 10.5. So I'm over here on Apple, um, Apple Loop's website. And we're going to be just basically going over the new advancements and everything like that. In addition to this, I'm actually going to be kind of giving you some slight demonstrations here within Logic while we go over it. Okay, so just to make it make sense, so to speak. So the first thing we're going to talk about is live loops. Now, live loops are specifically for, say, if you're a DJ, um, you know, you're doing some type of performance live and you want to just be able to kind of go in between different instruments and go in between different loops and different things like that. That's what live loops is going to be all about. So you can arrange and play with musical ideas in real time um, in the grid of sales. So this is going to be the best way to describe this is by actually playing it. So I'm, I'm going to go over here to Apple Loops. We can come over here to the genre. We could do anything. We can do electronic house. Let's just do electronic house and see what we can kind of play around with, right? So the cool thing about this is I can actually make the loop play any um, BPM uh, and everything will be live and in time and everything like that. So for instance, this one is playing at 125 BPM. It's now gonna play at 90 when I bring this in here and so let me just go ahead and show you how to access that you're basically gonna hit this little button right here that looks like a drum pad and now it's gonna bring up your live loops okay so all you gotta do now is to start dragging loops in and you can push play so that's pretty much enough of that I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what you could do uh, with live loops again it's not necessarily gonna be for like you know making beats so to speak it's gonna be like if you're doing live performances it's a pretty cool feature I like it I'm not necessarily gonna use it though um, for what I do you know what I'm saying we make beats and stuff like that Next thing we're going to do is talk about the remix effect. Huge advancement. Basically, it's going to allow you to be your own DJ and um, be able to scratch tracks, you know, play audio in reverse, stop it, down sample the song, um, apply a variety of other dance oriented effects. You can use this for techno, hip hop, EDM, R&B. It doesn't matter. I'll kind of quickly show it to you here. I have this beat already made, right? Um, it's kind of a hip hop beat. I'm going to show you how you can use the remix effect on it. All right, so you, you know, pretty much it has like a little jazzy feel to the beat, right? So of course, you're going to have some dope drums come in here. All right, so that's the beat. So if I wanted to do the remix effect on this, what I would do is come over here to your audio effects and scroll down to multi effects and then remix effect here. Click on stereo. And now this is your DJ pad or AKA remix effect pad. And so what I could do is I can, you know, do high pass and low pass filters. We can slow down the beat right here. Um, we can, you know, do a beat repeater. You can, you know, add a little bit, you know, sounding noise on here. It is, uh, it's better if I kind of just show you than just tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and play it and I'll just, you know, play around in here. And you'll kind of see what the remix effect can do. Bring 
You know, so let's just give you a taste of it. You know, you can do a lot of cool things. I'd say one of the best things about this is you can actually automate any of these different effects within the remix effect tool or pad. Um, you can also do it live as well. So, I mean, you can do it live and record it. It's pretty dope. I'll be doing this uh, later on in the videos to come. So let's go ahead and keep on going with the advancements. Um, next thing is the step sequencer. If you all are familiar with FL Studio, basically that's the main way that you know you make beats in FL Studio. You just pretty much click in um, different places within the timeline and you can cre create your own drum sequences. But in Logic, we just added that. So what I would do is I would click over here, create a software instrument track. Let's just maybe go with an Alchemy. And basically, um, I could pick any pretty much instrument here. Let me turn this off too. Um, we'll just use the one that's up and running. And I can come over here. <laughs> and it's a basic pattern here, you know what I'm saying? But I can I can pretty much get as detailed as I want. You know, a little Mozart right there. Um, you could do note repeat, which is pretty dope. And this is especially dope if you're doing like hi hats and stuff like that. So, like for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. We'll just create a new track with a hi hat in it. And I'm kind of there. We go. Let me see here get a hi-hat and so and if I was to do note repeat there's other things you can do as well we'll talk about these later but I, I can do some dope Hi hat patterns here. So, I mean, it's a pretty good feature and add on, especially when it comes to doing like hi hat snare rolls, you know, certain drum patterns and things of that nature. Uh, let's go ahead and move along the list here. Um, next thing we'll talk about is actually, I'm going to talk about all three of these in one, right? Because it all is dealing with some of the same things. So they have this new drag and drop workflow. So basically, you can quickly create new tracks and choose one of several instrument plugins. Insert an instrument plugin on a software instrument track. Replace the sound for Alchemy or Quick Sampler. Create sampler zones. Add samples. You know, it's when you're reading it it doesn't really necessarily make sense i mean as much as when you actually see it so i'm going to show it to you when we talk about these samplers so there's two new samplers that they created one which is their normal sampler which is basically going to be a replacement to this exs24 and um you can build your own drum kits in this you can build your own sound banks and different things like that it's pretty dope and a quick sampler is where you can pretty much drag, drag and drop and chop up samples quickly um, with a couple clicks of a button so let's go ahead and we're gonna show you the new drag and drop workflows and each sampler all in one uh, little you know excerpt here so 
let's talk about the drag and drop, right? So we already have this uh, beat in here, right? Let's say if I wanted to say cut this right here and I want to use just from here to here, right? Let's just say this is a song, which it is technically, but let's just say this is a song. All right, so normally if I wanted to like sample this, I would have to open up the sampler. I would have to, you know, go in there and, you know, click several different buttons to load this in here. I'll have to export this to audio and then go back onto my computer. And, you know, it was a big, crazy process with this new drag and drop feature. I can just take this sample right here and I can just go over here to this area, this regions area, and I can either create uh, using a quick sampler, optimized or original, or I can drag in some of these other options here. But we're going to use this quick sampler and we're going to do optimize. Boom. Now, the cool thing about this quick sampler is everything is already, you know, done for you. So you already have the sample chopped up based on the transients of the beat. cool thing about this is you can chop this up and go over here to the sensitivity you know you can chop up you guys a lot of a lot of fun doing this in here you can actually come over here and you make it follow the tempo I can come over here and make it play in classic mode, which would basically be anything I play on the keyboard, different octaves. Pretty dope, right? I can also one shot it. And basically, we can turn this off or on. We can reverse it, um, which is pretty cool. Before, you had to do a whole lot of different things and steps just to reverse something in Logic Pro 10. So this is a dope advancement. And that sounds pretty lit. Turn on this little tempo thing. It'll follow the tempo. Yeah, so that was an overview of the quick sampler. Now let's take a look at the multi sampler here in Logic. If you just go ahead and create a new track, go under instrument and click on the multi sampler, click stereo and create. What we're going to be able to do is see the multi sampler and we have mapping here. If you click there, you're also going to be able to see where you can or even zone. You can see where you can add your own like samples to the different notes. So like if we're in the Apple loop, say, I'm going to drag something over to one of the notes on the keyboard. Then if I play that note, it's going to play the sample. And I can actually start building my own kit here if I want it. Yeah, so you could do a whole lot of cool things. I mean, literally every note on the keyboard could be a different sample. Like if I wanted to come over here and like I can make it a one shot, I can reverse the sample. I can make it follow the tempo. You know what I mean? And then we can come over here and actually save everything you have here as a, an actual trap kid soul kit different things like that you know what i mean so it's pretty cool um as far as that new the new samplers i mean it's worth the upgrade just off of those two things alone trust me on that um so we have a couple more things we're gonna cover just the drum synth and this drum machine designer enhancements so the drum synth is pretty dope this is basically where you're going to be able to make your own 808s, kick drums, snares, hi-hats, different things of that nature. So let me kind of just show you what you can do. 
bring that to the beginning here. You can click there. And basically, when you create a software instrument track, you can come over here under instruments and go to drum synth, which is at the very top. Click on stereo. You know what I mean? And now I can come over here. And then I can change the sound based on these knobs. So, like for instance, if I want this sound to sound shorter or longer, I can use the decay. See how you, that, that 808 can easily be turned into a kick just by turning the decay down. Or it's a long extended 808. So as you can see, you can change the effect of the sound or how it sounds just by you know messing with the knobs on here. You know, so I mean, you know, you have all these other pre presets and things. I mean, I don't want to overly um, go over this because I'm going to go over these things again in the course, but just give you an overview of what you can do on this. That was the drum synth. Lastly, but not least, you have the drum machine designer. OK, and this is the ideal way to create, organize and interact with electronic drum kits and drum kit pieces. So if you're anywhere familiar with the drum machine designer, they just basically took it up to another level. You can now use it for electronic drummer tracks. OK, so you can import those in there. You can also, um, you know, do it from different channel strips. You can um, use this. The patches basically you can pull in samples that you've created um, using the quick sampler or sounds that you created with the drum synth, which is pretty dope. Um, you know, this is a lot you can do with it. Now, honestly, I don't use the drum machine designer, uh, that much, but basically if you wanted to access that and we will still go over this later on in the course, you just create a software instrument track and under instruments, drum kit designer. And this is where this is at. If you click on this, you can actually come over here and tune this. You can drag and drop the samples in different things like that. It's pretty dope. But um, those are the different new advancements when it comes to Logic Pro 10 10.5. I would just definitely give a hand clap to Logic Pro 10 for bringing those advancements. It pretty much leveled the playing field, in my personal opinion, when it comes to making beats, when it comes to producing music and music production as a whole, um, you know, especially the sampler and the drag and drop feature. If that was all they did, it would still be worth the money. Um, the the remix effect, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Especially because you can automate it. You know, other different things like that, man. I mean, I'm just really satisfied with the updates. We'll continue to go over these later in the course. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.